Ryan Pace gets another Steeler receiver late in the draft. He drafted North Carolina receiver Daz Newsome with pick number 221 in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft. What's up, guys? I'm back with another draft update video for the 2021 NFL Draft. I've been having a lot of fun doing these because I'm honestly in love with practically every single pick, okay? There's been a couple that I haven't agreed with fully, like the running back pick, Khalil Herbert, but he's still a damn good player, so I can't even hate that much on that. But then he also got guys like this, okay, like Daz Newsom, a human highlight reel in the sixth round, which makes me love this draft even more. This guy, in my opinion, is going to be the second version of Darnell Mooney, okay? I'm not trying to say that they're the same player, which is definitely not true, okay? They're pretty different players. Darnell Mooney is way faster than this guy. This guy actually ran a 4.57 40-yard dash, so speed is not like his biggest, um, you know, best trait like it is for Darnell Mooney, but what I'm trying to say is that Ryan Pace got another steal at receiver late in the draft. Okay, this guy, his nickname is the Human Highlight Reel. And whenever you draft a guy like this at round six, that is a really good value pick for your team. In fact, PFF and other outlets had this guy going a lot earlier than where he went. Okay, some in the fourth round, some in the fifth round. And to get this guy in the sixth round is insanely good value. Now let's take a look at this guy, his traits, his abilities, his weaknesses, and like what he's like, what what, what role is he going to fit on the Bears? And pretty much the role he's going to fit, guys, is going to be at slot receiver. Anthony Miller, if he's still on the team for next season, he's going to have some really tough competition. In fact, this guy, I would expect him to win the job with how great he was in college. If you ever looked at Sam Howell's tape for the last year, you would know that this guy repeatedly showed up on his film because he was consistently getting open, making insane, you know, jumping catches, winning 50-50 balls, getting that rack, okay, run after run after the catch, and just doing a lot of great things a slot receiver should do. And I feel like that's going to be perfect for the Chicago Bears. Daz Newsom is 5'10", weighs 190 pounds, so definitely a smaller receiver, kind of like Darnell Mooney, a similar frame. Um, And it, I, I know I talked about speed not being the best. Okay, he ran a 4.5. 740 yard dash but if you look at his tape if you look at his highlights he plays a lot faster than that 40 yard dash time okay he plays fast on the field which is really all that matters Newsom played in 43 games for the Tar Heels catching 188 passes for 2435 receiving yards and 18 receiving touchdowns he had a breakout junior season though in 2019 in which he set career highs in all receiving categories okay he had 72 receptions over 1000 yards and 10 touchdowns all in 2019 then last year in 2020, he had 54 catches for 684 yards and six touchdowns. So I guess kind of a regression, but also that was during the COVID year when everything was so crazy. So, you know, take of that year what you will. But overall, man, he just he has enough tape in college that you can really see he has a lot of potential at the next level. Everybody talks about his run after the catch the most. OK, this guy in the slot, he'll be perfect for the Bears because the Bears did not have many explosive plays last season. OK, not even just last season, but the year before as well in 2019. We did not have many explosive plays of 20, 30, 40, 50 plus yards, you know, every single Sunday. But this guy is going to provide us with a lot more of those. And why is that? This guy is really good at breaking tackles. Okay, three straight years in a row, he had 14 plus broken tackles, you know, every single year, which is just insanely good. That ranks among the top uh, 10 in actually all of college football. So really great in breaking tackles, you know, being shifty there, having the change of direction, that balance, that vision, and also having the power to pretty much shrug off opposing defenders, okay? Because that's exactly what he's done on his tape. If you also look at him in contested catches, so over the last two years, he was 11 for 16 in contested catches, okay? Even though he's not the tallest guy, you know, he's still great at jumping up and high pointing and catching the ball, okay? He does not lose many of those 50-50 balls. So to have a guy like that in the slot, that would also be very helpful because Anthony Miller was not really winning a lot of those 50-50 balls. Okay, he was kind of letting some of them slip through his hands, wasn't giving his full effort on a lot of the plays as well. But this guy, he plays with a lot of passion, a lot of energy nonstop. Okay, that's one of the you know things that his coaches also talked about. Okay, his work ethic and also his passion for the game of football. This guy wants to dominate anytime he's on the football field. And you can really see that in his tape, okay, with all the big explosive plays he's getting going, with how much, you know, he wants to take every single play to the house, you know, how he wants to catch every ball as well, even though it's way shorter than 
a lot of these DB safeties he's going up against. So I really feel like, again, in the slot, this guy could be a perfect fit in Matt Nagy's offense. He does have weaknesses, though, in his game. He did have a draw problem in college somewhat, which I wouldn't put too much stock into because if you also remember, Darnell Mooney had a huge draw problem in college as well, but this guy only dropped one ball all of 2020. So maybe Newsom can grow out of his draw problem like Darnell Mooney did last year. I mean, he's going to have to put in a lot of work with the you know jug machine and catching as many balls as he can. But I, I mean, I'm confident he could make this a non-issue if he puts in a lot of work this summer. But that's one weakness. Another weakness also is that his routes are not very diverse. So he's he has a very limited route tree right now that he can run. Obviously, he can improve on that at the next level, but that's something to keep in mind as well. So he's not the perfect prospect. Obviously, you're not going to get the perfect prospect in the sixth round. But to get a talented guy like this who had a ton of success in college working with a good quarterback, I mean, this guy could be a stud in our system. And he could be the slot receiver that we've been missing in this offense. So Overall, I really do like the pick. I mean, if you look at his highlights too, those are some crazy good highlights. Okay, a lot of big explosive plays. Obviously, a lot of his game he does need to clean up. He needs to work on. But if this guy could be another Darnell Mooney 2.0, okay, a guy that went late in the draft that turns into an absolute steal, we're going to be singing Ryan Pace's praises because he would have done it again and he would have given us a very good receiving trio we already have a good receiving duo right now in Allen Robinson and also in Darnell Mooney if this guy can be a number three option for us that would be absolutely fantastic so let me know what you guys think about this pick in the comments down below but as always bear down <laughs>